Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey, everybody. I'm Keith. Hey, Keith. Dustin. That's me. No. Um, what, are we, what are we doing here? So, I think we're checking out North American whiskeys and learning shit about country music. Whiskey. Wood-fired. Appalachian. Climax. I'm wondering if there is actually a town in Virginia named Climax. Is this distilled in Climax, Virginia? Survey says yes. Huh. By Tim Smith. Never heard of Tim Smith, but uh, Climax is a good ways south of my part of Appalachia. I'm confused. The, this well, is this well, is a bribe, though, right? This, this is, is a melody bribe. Melody, yeah. yeah. I'm conf we're going to get into why I'm confused when we get into the bourbon. Okay. Because it says some stuff on the bottle that kind of contradicts what we just said. Okay. But I don't get it. Well, so maybe, we'll, maybe, we'll, maybe we can do uh, some Appalachian ciphering and figure it out. We need to do some ciphering. <laughs> this is going to be fun to open. So are we going get, to get down to the knife on this no, one? I think I got it. What, what song is coming in with this melody bribe? So Chad Brock, Lightning Does the Work. That's kind of a interesting title. A bunch of different directions that could go. I mean, that's what she calls it is lightning. Well. Climax. I think Dustin was just saying something there. What? Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I don't want to explore that path further. The direction i was headed was, had nothing to do with tying lightning and climax because those are two words you as a man do not want to be associated with let's see what you did there <laughs> unless it's like damn no i think it's lightning <laughs> no <laughs> all right um so, uh, lightning does work. So, I kind of, like, the my brain immediately being a metal guy goes to, are we talking, like, Metallica, Ride the Lightning kind of thing? Or, uh... If it was Holly, I could see that. I don't know if Melody listens to rock. Yeah, I don't either. Or metal. You know, though, she's told us Has whether she? she does. She's mentioned. Okay. I'm I pretty forget. sure in the comments. I forget. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, so, so Chad anyway, Brock. let's... Yeah, Chad Brock. Stop mumbling. Stop what? What the hell? Mumbling. <laughs> Dude, why do we have Godsmack drums? He kind of looked like Garth Brooks in that one song. Uh, we have, have. I don't think we've done any Garth Brooks, have we? We tried to once. Yeah, it, it became out. a copyright problem. Yeah, we couldn't even post it. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. So we, we've immediately got the Godsmack voodoo drums. Dude. Yeah. Right. Welding. Nothing's getting done. Talking's all you hear. Like someone revving up a truck, never putting gear. Well, you don't see a cowboy run his mouth and strut around. He just takes a bull by the horns, throws him to the ground. Taking care of business, not just putting on a show. But when it gets down to it, everybody knows. Tons of rock uh -huh. in this song, uh -huh. right? If it wasn't for his vocal delivery style, right. this would be a pure rock song. I love the me. instrumental. I, yeah, me too. I'm I'm digging it. I, you're hearing these power chords on good, and even a distorted guitar, right? Yeah. Distorted power chords in the background, very like late '80s, early '90s 
rock metal kind of sound behind the scenes. The drums are rock metal. They used to use that kind of, right. you know, a lot of uh, the heavy bass driving. Um, so as a rock guy, I'm liking the song a lot. Plus, I'm loving the lyrical content. The bullet does the work. was kind of unreliable but My favorite part about the song was the instrumentals. I liked the lyrics. The lyrics were good. I wonder, for us, because of well, what we like, I wonder if that would have made a killer rock song with those lyrics. A- absolutely. Right? Just hand the microphone to James Hetfield and let him go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, that's the only difference. Right. You'd have had a, you'd have had a metal song. That would have been awesome. Well, you'd have to put Hammond on guitars, too. But yes, Metallica could have done this. And it would have been, it would have been good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. It's so... No, this was still good. Yeah. But that would have, it would have probably been playlist for me if it were Metallica singing those lyrics. <laughs> yeah. What do you think the chances are that we can convince... Call him up. He's your buddy, right? James and Lars and all those guys to get together and do a cover of this guy's You song. should cover this song. Just saying be a hit i think lars would drive his mclaren off a cliff first but whoa <laughs> what's a that escalated quickly hey lars is a bitch <laughs> whoa okay well he's definitely not doing it now he's a good drummer but, but he knows he, he knows he, he's aware i think right so that helps yeah yeah anyway so i haven't even tried this yet what is your problem i guess i was just fascinated with the song bourbon country reacts Supposed to drink the bourbon while we react. Oh. Oh. No. (laughs) It says climax on the bottom. (laughs) If that's your O face, I feel sorry for Joanna. Because every time she'd have to laugh. (laughs) Um, This is anticlimactic it it <laughs> accurate <laughs> yeah it's it's young it's not very good it's 
Tell them why. It tastes like iron in the water, for one. Mm. It smell that nose. I don't know about that. That's got that tire smell to it. It's like ethanol. There's ethanol and tire. <laughs> Race tire and ethanol. Mm. Race tires smell good. <laughs> Old nasty truck tire and ethanol. It's like, it's just oaky. And corn sweet and oak. It's unremarkable. It wouldn't get you. It wouldn't get you there. No. Well, no. (laughs) All right. So here's what confused me about it. So it's wood fired. So you got to get your mash bill right before you do weird shit with it. Um, look how they did the label. At a slant. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so pot distilled and bottled by Climax Virginia Distillery Tim Smith in Fletcher, North Carolina. Tim Smith, Tim Smith. Is that one of the guys from Moonshiners? I gotta Google it. I think it is. Uh, Tim Smith, century old whiskey recipe aged with toasted oak. Does, did he? Legit sign this? That looks like a legit signature. Like not one of them printed ones. Tim Smith is from the Moonshiner show. Oh. So we hit images and we'll see which guy he is. He yeah, look, okay, that guy. That guy? Yeah, yeah that guy. Okay, right yeah, so this is, um, I'm going to hazard a guess. Yeah. He should stick to making clear. Yeah? Yeah. You think putting in the barrel screwed it up? I, I think he's got some experience to gain on the aging process and and bottling and all that. Huh. I don't think it says anywhere on here how long he aged it for. Maybe he just rolled it down a Appalachian white oak. Yeah, so... Yeah, um, Tim, I don't think this is ready for prime time. I like you on the show. I'm sure you make a really damn good clear, but uh, this doesn't do it for me. Well, Tim Smith's century-old whiskey recipe, aged with toasted oak, wood imparting color and revolutionary flavors, made to be in a class of its own. Well, it's in a class of its own for sure. Um, it's just not a very good. Not one. the class that we. I didn't. I didn't like that class. Didn't no. Didn't like that class. Didn't like that class. Interestingly, uh, Tim was was on that show with a buddy of mine that made amazing clear. Yeah. Allegedly made amazing oh, clear. Allegedly, he didn't. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. So, so this was from Melody. Melody had sent us a cool tune. I, why did you like the lyrics so much? Because it's true. The shit talkers that do nothing. Listen to this. Really bother me. Yep. And Just a bunch of smoke. Yeah. And he's calling. He's kind of calling that letters. out, man. Uh, wow. <laughs> Kidding. Kind of. Uh, he's he's kind of calling out all the shit talkers and noting that the doers get it done. They don't need to say anything. True. Right. True. Their work product shows. It speaks for itself. That's right. It speaks for them. Yep. So they don't need to. That's what I appreciated about the lyrics. So that's cool. Uh, good song. Not so great. Whiskey. Um, yeah. It's all right, though. We still appreciate it. Always. We want to try it. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Excuse me. Thank you. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video... Yeah, right. Wait, you didn't guess the proof. Maybe it's super high. It's not. It's about 80. Ninety. A little higher than I thought. Yeah. Anyway. So, it does have some smoothness. Give us a like. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Drop down in the comments. Tell us uh, what country music we need to check out and what North American whiskey we need to try. We'll see you next time. See you.